it's Syrian King 44, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use PGP encryption. Um, I'm using VMware right now, so yeah, that's how I'm going to show you guys how to do it. You guys go to Internet Explorer, or if you have Google Chrome, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go to Google. It's a lot easier. Examples. Go ahead and type in uh, PGP for win. Right there, you're going to click uh, download. Let me open this. Click download. Full installer. You're going to click run. Uh, this usually takes a while. Uh -huh. I'm going to pause this video. Okay, so it's almost done downloading. Um, let's see. I'm gonna click yes. Click this thing right here. You're gonna pick uh, either English or whatever your preference is. Click OK. Click Next. Click Next. Right here, you're gonna unclick Cleopatra. Well, let's unclick this. You're gonna unclick Cleopatra and only keep GPA since that's how I, or this is the only one that I use. And uh, click Next. Click next. Um, desktop. Next. Let us finish. You can exit it out of Internet Explorer. You don't have to be on it. Now it's uh, click next. Root certificate defined or skip configuration. Click next, and uh, you don't have to read me file. Finish. So right now you have GPA right here. So now you're gonna double click it. It's not supposed to show these two. Here I'll just show you how it's supposed to be look look like. Not supposed to be there. Sorry, I had a lot of failed attempts recording this video. So yeah, um, what you're supposed to do is after it's downloaded, you're supposed to click GPA. Okay. Yeah, this is what's supposed to happen. It's gonna ask you to generate a key now. Click generate a key. You pick a name. I'm gonna put anything. So we'll just put. Mic or whatever. Click space. Forward. Put a email address that you know you've created especially for encrypting. Um, I'm gonna again make up one. Mike twelve at gmail .com. Forward. Create up a backup copy. Okay. Forward. Uh, you have to create a password. So, I mean, this is very important. Don't forget your password especially if you're encrypting something because if you lose your password you can't decrypt it um, I'm just going to say hello sorry hello click OK warning you've entered an insecure okay well let me just add a longer one Okay. Now it's going to ask you to save it somewhere. I usually just save it on a desktop or you know, create a folder. And I'm just going to put security key. Okay. And save. 
suppose. Okay, for some reason this happens, so don't be scared, just exit out of it. You already have your security key here. Um, yeah, just double click GPA once again if that happens to you guys. Sometimes it doesn't happen, but as you can see right here, Mike12, that's me. Um, at this point, you know, you have fully valid, you know, owner trust ultimate, never expires, you know, the whole shebang. So now you want to send an encryption to somebody and you have their PGP key. So we're going to try it out right now. Now, I don't know where I got this and it doesn't really matter. But right here, what you're going to do is you're going to copy, you're going to minimize it. And I usually just hit control. I like after I click the box inside, I hit control V. And then boom. It's right here. Click close. And as you can see right here, this is his information. Owner trust is unknown. Key valid but validity or whatever it's called is unknown. So this is this is the procedure I go through to, you know, send a message. Um, set owner trust. I usually click full. Click OK. Let's see. Sign key. Yes. And remember that password that I told you not to forget? Well, this is the part where you have to punch it in. Okay. So now you just go to send keys. Click yes. These have been sent to the server. Click OK. Or cancel. Now you want to send him uh, information or whatever you're trying to send him, right? So right now you're gonna click, uh, you're gonna click his uh, profile thingy, and click card. It's taking a while. Remember, I'm using VMware. Yeah, like I said, sometimes this happens, not responding, which it's not a problem. You can just always exit out. Fucking piece of shit. VMware. Um, close the program. You can just double click GPA again. Everything's already there. You just got to go click it again. Um, actually, I'm sorry. You go to clipboard, I believe. Yeah, it's clipboard. So right now you're gonna, you know, say, you know, say you want to give them an address, you know, for some reason. So you're gonna type in like Mike James, weird name, but um, you know, um, North Edzy, and then you know, whatever you know what I'm saying. Just anything, I guess. Whatever your you know, whatever you're going to send them. Um, so you want to encrypt it. So you're going to click right here, sign. Click OK. Well, actually click it just in case. Click OK. So that's it, right? So you're going to verify. That's This is how I do it. I don't know if it's necessary to do all this, but, you know, that's how I do it. You click encrypt. And you click his... However, you're going to send it to the public key that you want to send it to. I click, you know, this guy's right here that I plugged in. Click OK. And boom, you have it. Now, say you want to just make sure, you know, it's correct. You can always click Decrypt. Which, you know, and didn't do anything, which is still fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But, um, yeah, so this is your you know your information that you're gonna copy and you know go and send it to him and he's gonna be able to uh, decrypt it but you also have to send him your PGP key and I forgot to tell you that um, your PGP key how to get that that's very simple you just go right here and uh, you click export keys because this is gonna be you know your key um, let's create a folder just uh, create a folder. Um, 
PGP key and you save it right inside well PGP key you save it there we go so don't get these two mistaken secret key I have no idea what that is but I'm pretty sure it's you know something important that has value to it so I just don't throw it away I just keep it for maybe in the future I figure out what it's for I mean you know maybe if I have to change a computer I'll have to have this as a requirement to get all my information you know credentials and everything but uh, right now the PGP key right here that I open and this is my PGP I click open it's gonna ask you what do you want to open it with open it with notepad so this is your PGP key so say if you you were to want somebody to send information to you like how this person set it up right here he's like okay this is my PGP key well this is basically it right here he, t he copied this and posted it here for you to copy and to uh, also post in your you know information and be able to send it to him so as of now you send them your PGP key that I showed right here and the information open notepad you copy this you send this information to him after that you're gonna have to send him whatever information that you are wanting to send him so like I said you go to clipboard you know whatever you want to type in blah 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 if you don't even want to do all of this I don't think you really have to sign and verify but you know you can click encrypt you pick the person's you know that you want to send it to the email address or whatever the name is click OK and boom information is encrypted you copy it you know if you're gonna send it to him in a message you know you just paste it in the message and that's basically like you know the information that you really didn't want anybody else to see um, yes yeah, it's kinda got complicated if nobody understood how this went um, I mean comment underneath the video and I'll try to you know do my best to redo this video again if everybody understands it then hooray everybody knows how to use PGP key um, so far, you know, if you guys liked it, click like. Um, if you guys need help, comment underneath. I'll help you if, uh, if the vast majority of you guys don't understand because I got this complicated for you guys. Um, just request me to revise this video and I'll better understand you guys. Well, you guys have a wonderful day. Again, this is Syrian King 44.